Welcome back folks to the latest Genocide, Devol Genocide Dolphins development video. It's 9.32am. I'm pretty uh, coded out as you can imagine. <coughs> so, uh, some of the changes. Well, he's got masks at the moment actually that change when he's powered up and down but uh, I'm not sure how useful the masks are because you can never really see his face so uh, we'll forget that for now break dancing probably new uh, but the main uh, thing I'm showing here is a new mission <coughs> there's a huge occlusion issue looking over here but if I go in here it speeds up so first of all um, if you click on this thing you start the rustic fool missions and there's just one at the moment but I'm thinking maybe I could do more um, and then you can accept that rustic fools. It tells you the mission will start when you go out, and there's a shotgun in here actually, which is useful. So when you go out here, what happens is a cutscene starts of. Um, so I've been coding too long here. Been coding, I don't know, since lunchtime or something. It's a long session, almost 24 hours. I'm doing tinkering, but um, when you come out of here, you start a mission which is basically loads of these clowns arrive called the rustic fools which you might remember from previous uh, videos and they um, they start massacring all the pedestrians and your job is to stop them and then there's waves of them that you can uh, kill after that and it's not finished it's supposed to be like a, like a kind of stranglehold mission in the game stranglehold um, slow mo, lots of killing, lots of good action, and that isn't actually there yet because I got sidetracked by considering what it might be like to have um, some voice acting in. So I got my mate George Cropper to do some voices, and then I spent a long time evolving um, how that voice could be, how the narration of it uh, could work, and I came up with this idea that. Well, it started with a head, I was thinking a head floating around that looked kind of digital, talking to you, but eventually it became, uh, I tried everything and, and, I, and I eventually it became a little bulldog who talks to you and he appears in the bottom left of the screen, so when this mission starts, what you'll see is the camera will show you a cutscene, which is the clowns killing all the um, pedestrians, and in the bottom left you'll see a little bulldog and he'll be like shimmering a bit like he's kind of digital and he will <coughs> he will speak the words of George Cropper which are awesome I, 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 at the beginning I heard the sample I was like you know this is the kind of thing I asked for really because I knew it was the kind of humour he did and I wondered if it worked but actually after working on it all night and testing it I think this works and this is the beginning of something of a new mission where you get some voices you can turn them on or off as well obviously, but then you get some action music and you get a bit of action, but it uh, needs a lot more work, but I thought I might as well record it, I wasn't even going to record something today, but I was quite happy with this, and I've only got it really just working in the last few minutes, so uh, something will definitely go wrong, but there's the masks, you can almost see them when you're near a wall, you can see a bit closer his head, uh, I can work on that a bit. I was thinking it could be a bit like Wonder Boy where uh, different power-ups can do different things. So right now he's got a bird mask on. That could be the only time he can fly, which you can't do, by the way. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go into this mission. You're going to see a cutscene. So I'm going to put the volume up so you can hear the classic uh, lines from George, which are really funny. So uh, here we go. Really excited about this. Hello, it's 
stood here and, well, he looks like those stupid, bleating, rental weaving, fuck-witted clown bastards known as the rustic fools have turned up again. Unwanted. That bit of fart's been trapped inside the cushion and it suddenly gets released and you try and use it as a pillow. Anyway, uh, we're going mental and wiping out both meat eaters and vegans alike. Kindly go in and have a nice, polite chat with them and ask them to calm down. Oh, I'm joking, of course. Fucking exterminate those credulous general old bastards! Okay, bye. So, first thing to notice, well, George didn't turn off. He should have done. I don't know why that didn't uh, happen. But uh, he's meant to go off after the cutscene like that. And you could see that the cutscene was the clowns killing everyone. So my job is to stop them. So George was that little dog in the corner who's meant to be like, um, you know, a kind of sentient AI, which is, you know, almost maybe too advanced and has become rude, or maybe has been stuck alone in space, or... Maybe it's got some strange programming, but he's going to be like your little AI companion, I think. Uh, or he could be actually just the main computer <coughs> giving you instructions, and you could just be, you know, one of the robots that works for the main computer, and that's why you're getting straight advice from him. But I'm, I'm not sure yet. But also, it could be interesting if other people had versions of George, like there's a guy in the game called Neckbreak, he could have. He's going to have one called uh, Shimonto, which will be his version. So maybe now and again you could actually, you know, see them talking to them somehow or hear them or, or even swap them or things like that. And also if you think about the dog, you could use... Uh, if uh, Hopefully you noticed that the voice was actually lip sync to the dog. Not very well because a dog, doesn't, a dog model like that doesn't have the facial muscles of... Uh, of the other thing, of, a, of a human face, but it actually was kind of lip syncing. I'm just using angry smile and other different animations at the moment. But he could use full dog animations too, you know, so he could jump up and do things and when he was saying certain things and go to sleep and that, a bit like a Tamagotchi almost. And he could have, you know, needs and desires and vices himself that he could con you into actually doing things for him and also help you along the way, like he's doing here, telling you what to do. So anyway, I'm going to go down and kill the clowns and show you some of that action uh, put the volume down a little bit because it's just a lot of shooting shotgun is holding correctly I'm not sure if that was in the last one so here's these guys look killing everyone I'm quite proud of the uh, the fact that they are systematically going around wiping people out at the moment I'm low on their list of priorities until I attack them but you can see that they're, I've missed it actually by talking, but they go into this bar and completely wipe it out. Um, so I'll probably, sh I'll probably do another run through if anyone can stomach it after I've done this. But uh, I'll show you a bit of slow-mo. Going for the stranglehold, I thought I'd crashed there. Going for the stranglehold, sort of sepia glow. I don't want to be in slow-mo in a way because you can't really see the blood from the headshot. Or missed his head anyway, but he can get killed and ragdoll. Now the ragdolls are a bit messed up at the moment because if you look at them again, they spring to life, which is really quite odd. Whoa, shit! Here we go. Look. Obviously, caught not quite right yet, but. Quite exhilarating action, actually. What's happened there is the music hasn't worked. There was supposed to be uh, some banging music playing when you're doing all this, um, which didn't happen. I, d I literally tested it just before. I don't know why this happens to me. These can blow up. Oh, one of them's ragdolling weird somehow there as well. And they can, so they've focused on me now. And I'm like, Robocop style. Got my horn mask on. They can't hurt me though. 
and they have actually killed me. But I love that glow that he gets and like the, the sort of nonchalant attitude. Um, I'm going to kill them and I'm going to start uh, again because nothing went as planned, I don't know why. Physical bullets, you can see, also you can hold Z and uh, well, with pedestrians you can get some cool shots anyway. Doesn't turn his body properly there. It seems to be if you keep your finger down, he, he doesn't. Still a few third person bugs. I'm going to uh, rerun that, so I will be back in a second. Maybe second time lucky, it'll work. <laughs> These things are so new, but I mean, I could look in the console right now and work out what's going on, but I've had enough. And I thought this would be a good demo. Alright, worked that time. Notice I was able to skip the uh, thing, but I'm going to let you listen to the music as I kill. that's it folks that's the latest update actually that was quite awesome it worked exactly how I wanted it to work on the second run so I'm glad you got to see that and that music is awesome that's from Drubber the awesome lines are from George hopefully it was clear enough to see and I'm really happy with it. absolutely everything it's going amazing I love the little dog I love the music I love the way it's flowing I love the way the AI is finally working everything's amazing 10, almost 10 a.m. on June the 9th, and my birthday tomorrow actually, I'll be 37, and uh, June the 9th is the night that they did, the day they do the Bladen races. Gandalf, Scotchwood Road, thanks for watching guys, this game is going to be absolutely fantastic, end of the year, hopefully something happening there. You can pre-order if you want on the Facebook page. Had one so far. Cheers.